Hey everybody, welcome back to Growing Together in the Knowledge of Christ. This is the last week of our theme, Love, and I am so happy that the Lord led me to talk about love for the month of June. I want to leave you with the words of Jesus Christ, coming from John chapter 15, verse 9, and it says, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love, hallelujah. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love, just as I obeyed my Father's commandments and remained in his love. So part of living in this in the season of grace where we don't have to offer bullocks and lambs and blood sacrifice anymore is living and obeying the commandments of God that was established through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Those who have been touched by this, this series in the month of June on love and you said, you know what Patrice? I want to try God. I want to feel his love. I'm tired of the way that I'm living, my God, and I want to invite Jesus Christ into my heart. I want to experience the love of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, but God is faithful to forgive you of your sins if you confess your sins. The Bible says that God God demonstrated his own love for us while we were yet still sinners. Christ died for us. God loves you and God is patient with you because he's given you the opportunity to confess your sins and to leave your sinful lifestyle and to come on over to his lifestyle so you can fulfill your purpose hallelujah and the will and desires that he has for your life god has a plan for you and his plan is not to harm you but his plan is to give you a hope and a future and if that's you i want you to read the scripture that is on the screen romans chapter 10 verse 9 through 10 and it says if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shall believe in thy heart that god has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation and if you jump down to chapter to verse 13 it says for whoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved it's that simple you invite the Lord into your heart by confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believing in your heart by faith that God has raised him from the dead. If you confess and believe, you are saved. It's with your heart, your inner man, your soul, that you believe that God has made you right with him through the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ, that God has declared you righteous and holy, and it's with the mouth you come into agreement that you are saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you read that scripture and you believe with your whole heart, hallelujah, you are now saved. I want you to read Repeat this prayer after me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I admit I have done things that I am not proud of, but I believe your son, Jesus came, died, and endured the punishment for my sins on the cross. I believe you raised him from the dead, as your word said. Father, please forgive me of my sin. Lord Jesus, today I accept your gift of salvation and I ask that you come into my heart, wash me in your blood and purify my soul. By faith, my sins are forgiven and I am now saved. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are now a believer. And guess what? God's spirit has now joined with your spirit to give witness that you are a child of God. Now you have to believe that by faith and submit to the Holy Spirit that is in you and allow him to transform you. It's not going to be easy because now you are on the other side of the battlefield and the enemy has his eyes on you and he is angry. But 
God's angels, hallelujah, is rejoicing in heaven because you repented. Thank you, Lord. And you have the backing of God's army. And so you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to worry about. God has your back. So Lord, I thank you for salvation, God. I pray that you will be with them, God. I pray that you will keep them, Lord. I pray that you will lead them, Lord, to a Bible teaching church, God, with shepherds, God, that will love them, God, and that will disciple them to Christ, God, that will cultivate the fruit of the Spirit, God, down in them, Lord, and that will teach them your ways and your ways only. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for a divine covering over their lives and over their families in the name of Jesus. And I just give you the glory and the honor. Thank God. Amen. I want to leave you with this. I heard a preacher say today that God wants to do a new thing in you, but you have to participate, hallelujah, in the things that God wants to do in you. And so today you made that first step and I applaud you and just know that I am praying for you. I love you. Go with God and God bless.